once again, uh, you know, proud of the victory. Thought our guys played it very good this past week. Uh, after watching the film, did some uh, really good things. Just executed well in all areas. Guys played extremely hard. Uh, fundamentally, we're doing some very good things. And uh, so that's good. There's a lot to build on. Uh, hopefully, we'll have another great week with a bunch of uh, discipline focused execution here this week. We're going to need to play our very best. There's uh, no question about that when you're going in to play at Georgia and uh, what Kirby's done there and the, and the team that he has put together. Um, you know, you see why they're ranked the number one team in the country and leading and you know, dominating in the defensive statistical categories um, and playing extremely well offensively. Just a complete football team. They'll also uh, hurt you at any given moment. And special teams, so they're playing well in all areas. Very talented football team, very well coached, and a great challenge ahead of us. Uh, we're we're uh, worried about uh, ourselves and our preparation, and uh, that's why – We've been getting better as the season's progressed is because of the way we've approached the weeks and the way we've approached practice, and that'll be no different uh, this week. And uh, as I mentioned the last couple weeks, you know, if you want to continue uh, to play in good, thing, good big games, then, then just take care of the business that, that you have right in front of you. And for us, it'll be a great uh, start to the week with a great Monday practice and uh, getting these mistakes that we made in the past game cleaned up and uh, preparing for, for Georgia. So uh, excited about the week, just getting ready and going back to practice. And uh, again, I've, I've told you that each and every week, I, it really doesn't matter to us who we play. They're all big games when you want to uh, when you want to uh, win and prepare. So it's about the preparation. It's about what we do here this week and uh, looking forward to getting back to work with the players. Mark, this game has all the makings of being much like an NFL playoff game. How do you see it? Uh, I really don't even look at it like that at all myself, but you can look at it how you want. Uh, for us, it's uh, another week. I mean, it's a, it's the next game. And uh, so for us, we've just got to have a great week of preparation and continue to get better, continue to cultivate the good things we're doing so and, uh, and get better. It's that's never any different. Have you ever heard anything different in nine years? Mark I mean, Arp that's not coach speak. That's the way it is. Mark Octavius is not on the depth chart. Yeah, Octavius unfortunately uh, will be out for the remainder of the season. So that's a big loss for us, considering Marquan is already down and uh, Octavius was playing. Uh, he played his best game you know, this past week. He played his best game. So uh, it's unfortunate he got hurt uh, late in the game. What exactly was the injury? Pardon me? Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a lower, it's out for the year. It's a lower, lower leg. Now, Mark, the Big Blue Nation has been great showing up here at home for the last couple of weeks. How important and how important would you need to see the same type of fan support? On that I-75 and a half. Well, I expect us to have a, you know, be loud as we can be uh, with as many tickets as they allot us. Uh, but they'll always appreciate uh, our fans and showing up. And uh, you know, hopefully, we'll, we'll we will hear the the num the the amount of people that we have there. Last week, you said that Saunders, you know, he had kind of a wake up moment, if you will. How much do you got to move guys around uh, to kind of build mm -hmm. that? We, we do. We have to we have to move some guys around. We have to um, get better at, at uh, some of the guys that are going to be forced into uh, playing time. Um, we have to look at all aspects of the things that we're doing and, um, you know, what they do best and try to uh, have it by committee and moving guys around and look at different ways on third down. But, the, the, you know, the thing about Georgia is um, – you know what's difficult is there, there's no there's no masking things. There's you know they're very well coached and very physical and uh, so um, you know you have to play them. Of course there's game plans and change ups and things, but you have to just match up and that's that's difficult to do. 
but uh, we have to get better. Um, we have to have ways to protect certain guys, but uh, um, with them, it's it's uh, you just have to man up and play. You're saying that they are who they are, and you guys have to be who you are. Well, I mean, I'm saying that that Georgia is so balanced and so physical and so good, and you know, in so many ways, when we have. Uh, guys that are out or whatever, there's just no protecting guys. You know, certain uh, teams we play, we could run simulated pressures, do different things, try to, you know, but with them, um, you, you just have to man up and play. You got to play, and we got to play it to a high level. Mark, given the looks and blitz packages Georgia likes to bring defensively, what kind of challenge? I mean, it's going to be big, obviously, for Will Levis. Could you talk about that a little bit? I'm sorry, repeat that, Dick. Given the, the looks and blitz packages that Georgia likes to use, Talk about the challenge for Will this week. Yeah, they they put a lot of pressure on you because they're they're good. Just you know, just in lining up in their base defense and playing, they're they're good. And then you start mixing in any kind of pressures or different looks, and uh, you know, getting the, the the big thing for Will will be him having some time. You know, you know, the protection being good, guys getting open. Um, it'll be a challenge for everybody. I mean, they give up. What, 200 yards a game or something ridiculous? Uh, they're 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 number one in our league by like a hundred and some yards, and uh, giving up 50 some a game in rushing. I mean, they're 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 playing at a ridiculous level defensively. That's true, but you've also been pretty close in the last mm -hmm. few years. Like you've been able to move the ball, but not necessarily mm -hmm. score. How are those teams that you played recently against Georgia? How's this one different than? The teams that we played, or yeah, like teams? the last yeah. two, two years playing, playing close. Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I really, again, I, I really don't go back and look at much. You know, that way, as far as personnel, you look at scheme, taking a big picture look at what they like to do against us and what we've done well. But uh, as you know, we're quite different offensively. Um, but you still go back and look, and uh, you're right. I mean, if you have any success, your your margin for error is very small in this game, as you know. You know, because they're they're so good and talented and can hurt you in so many ways. So you have to take advantage of any and all opportunities you have. Do you think it gives you your guys any confidence knowing that it has been close? And well, it, give, it should give us confidence just the way we're getting better as this season goes on, the way we're playing. And, again, our, our preparation, uh, that's where it comes from, and, and just being disciplined throughout the week. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's all my message. It, it's always that way, you know, that, that, that we have to worry about ourselves and just have a discipline preparation, you know, sacrifice some things as far as sleeping and, you know, watching some film and being dialed in for a big opportunity. But, um, you know, our guys do that no matter who they play. And, and it gets late in the season. You can tell we're getting – we're beat up. I mean, we got guys injured. And uh, you start getting thin. Um, so – uh, we, we we have to, you know, just do the very best we can with who we got and what what's going on and our guys playing at a high level. I'm not sure that he was on the depth chart, but you, Cohen, from Cohen City, you know, it's working to try and get back to this. Do you expect he might be able to go? Or? Uh, it 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 looks doubtful at this point. Yeah. Is it fair to say that uh, Levis is a uh, football player? Football yeah, player? yeah, he's. Uh, uh, it's fair to say, Lonnie, that he's a good he's a good football player, and just uh, just with the way he runs, the way he ad libbed a little bit. We had a little, we do a lot of different things, as you could tell, with a lot of different shifts, motions, uh, different actions in the run game. Uh, one, you know, whether it's bad snap or a bobbled snap, he he's made plays with certain things. He has the other day, we were mixed up on a play. He turns around and runs it for eight yards or something, you know, so just things of that nature he is. He's playing very good football. And really watching that film, um, Will really uh, definitely played uh, a complete game. You know, I, I mentioned after the game that, you know, I thought he really started well, but really he played good the entire game. He really did some good things. Some of those throws he made, even on, on the incompletion of Wandell, was just a beautiful pass. And uh, he just, uh, you know, he, he played at a very high level and threw – through some really impressive uh, throws. Mark, 
Anything you learn from that experience that can be applied for? I, I think you do. I mean, there's nothing for me to talk about with that or anything, but I, the guys know. I mean, the, the players that have been around, as I mentioned, the leaders, guys that have been here, you know, for three, four, five, six years, um, they uh, understand the, the situations and different, you know, learning opportunities and uh, things that we learned from that game. I mean, I'm not going to get into it because it was two years ago, you know, but I believe as an organization, you get better with every opportunity. And uh, I think we're getting better each and every day. What is? It's hard to argue that, you know. I, I I really haven't put much thought into other great defenses. You know, we certainly have played a lot of you know great defenses uh, um, through through my time here. Um, I, I didn't put any thought in that, but you watch these guys on film, and it's it's another level. It's it's another level of good. It's uh, really impressive what they're doing. Defensively. Mark, I'd say that the key to beating LSU was preparation. What else might have been a big key factor in defeating LSU that could help you prepare for this game with Georgia? Well, last week, you know, was just about hitting the reset button again and, and you know, having uh, focused, you know, discipline, hours of discipline preparation. And, you know, again, it goes into the – the sacrifice that you make throughout the week to have great practices, to get sleep, to get to class, to eat right, you know, a lot of things that go into it. And uh, hours and hours of focused, disciplined uh, preparation, whether it's in film or on the practice field and, and uh, staying true to who we are. As I always mention, you're always, you know, building and in, in, uh, cultivating the good things that we do and finding ways, um, you know, to, you know, help, exploit that and, and get better in those areas and areas where we're falling short work to get better Good. how much are you enjoying this process this season for your players i know you've been involved in a lot of big games in your career, but it's a great opportunity for them but anytime you see you know you have success and you see them and, and you're around them um you know this is uh you know as you know it's brutally hard i mean it's just a hard you know football's a hard game playing at this level playing the sec and um, it's hard. So anytime they have success, it's fun for them. But, but w you know, why? Why are you having success? Is what you really dig into. Not so much. Oh, you know, everybody's happy. Everybody wants to win. But what are those steps you're taking to put yourself in a position to win? Is more what what we we concentrate on. I'm sorry. Go ahead. A lot about their defense, but offensively, they put a lot of stress on you with that tight end. What does that, what does that do for, in your pro? Uh, that, that guy's impressive, Brock. Um, yeah, Brock uh, Bowers, man, as, as a freshman, uh, really impressive player. Just uh, he's a guy that jumps out at you all year uh, for a freshman. Really, uh, quite impressive player. He just puts stress on you any time that position. Because they're good. they're good everywhere, you know what I mean. When you got when you're physical and you have the backs that they have, and the wideouts that can hurt you outside, you know you pick your spot. You know they'll put stress on you. Okay. Your relationship with Kirby Smart, what is that like? Kirby, oh, I, I, I have a real good relationship with Kirby, and I think a, I think think a lot of them as a coach. You know, so. With the handful of plays that you didn't have Darian or Dare in that game, it looked like Kenneth moved over to to tackle. Was Jeremy available Saturday, or were you just moving guys around? There? No, Jeremy was not available Friday or Saturday. It will be back this week. Would you describe Kirby as being crafty, cerebral? Uh, how would you do? I, I don't really put any thought into it. But, you know, I like Kirby. Uh, you know, I feel like you know, I, I like. You asked me if I like what my relationship was, and I, I have a, a friendship with him. Or you know, I like I like his uh, personality. He's a fun guy to be around, but. Uh, it's not like we're besties or anything like that, you know. Well, they're they're you know we're prepared for it going on the road to, to uh, South Carolina. Obviously, this is a much different team, different environment, um, but hopefully we learn from that experience and. Um, just as far as our operation, our preparation, and you know, guys peed on that sometimes too. Even though it's hostile and it's, you know, it's 
there's something different about it. You know, you have to do it. You know, so uh, you know you're going to go into some tough environment, so you better embrace it. You know, and, uh, and talk and you know, is it. If, I said it a long time ago in one of the games, but run to the roar, man. Enjoy it. You know, you're going to hear that. That there will be rocking, and you better embrace it and, and play at a high level because you can't hide from it. You think it's fair to say that you're this is the best defense Georgia will see? Pardon me? You think it's fair to say this is the best defense? Uh, I, that's, that's, that's your words, not mine. <laughs> Mark, offensively, is Georgia any different with Benedict quarterback than they were with Daniels? Not. not I mean, not much. I mean, uh, Stetson, um, you know, is doing a great job of just managing their their offense and making impressive throws when he has to. You saw last week, quick strike when it's there. You see him, you know, working it, uh, you know, running their offense. So eh, not too much different, no. Mark, speaking as an educational one, what was the explanation for why the ball to Cummings was not a catch? I'm a... Uh, Number one, I haven't received uh, my voiceover back yet from, um, and sometimes I'll talk with John McDade, and I think he does a remarkable job of communicating with us. Um, I haven't received that back, but uh, unfortunately, even when I do, I'm not allowed to relay that to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you think it was a catch? I think whatever was ruled on the field was going to be, it was going to stand. <laughs> Does number one, does that mean anything when you see that up there? Pardon me? Does the number one, number one team, does that, does that matter at all? Not, not really. I mean, if it does to our players individually, so be it. Whatever they need to motivate them, again, whatever they need to sacrifice as far as, you know, getting a little extra sleep, you know, eating good, uh, watching a few extra snaps or watching a few extra minutes a day on, on film, whatever, uh, that, you know, individually, um, you know, it needs to motivate us. But our, our process, our preparation needs to be, be consistent if we want to be what we want to be. Mark, you mentioned progressively getting better this year. I think everyone has seen that week to week with one obvious exception. And you mentioned hard work and discipline. I mean, is, is it simple is not the right word, but is it that basic or are there other I mean. It is, but that's that's harder to do than you know. Do you know what goes into that? Yeah, it's maybe the same talking points to me. You know, and and you know, I wrote some things on the board last Monday that probably still up there. I'll reiterate it. I'll have a new message, but it's it's the same. It is the same. However, that's easier said than done, right? I mean, these guys have a lot on their plate. They are physically and emotionally going through a lot. So that there, there's quite a bit that goes into a week. The preparation in that needs to stay the same, yes. But, again, they are physically beat up. They're mentally beat down. They have school. They have, you know, a lot of things on their plate. And uh, so, um, but, you know, they know the systems and the processes that we have in place to be successful. They know that. Um, they have to go do it. We all have to do it. Is there anything to you have the vibe? After this game, that kind of keeps <coughs> you all up. You Pardon me. Like having the off week after mm -hmm. this, does it kind of free you up at all? Just to feel to really even more physically go out there and you know, throw it up. I'll, I'll approach it when you know we haven't ha changed our approach in the last several weeks as far as me, my practice schedule. Like the the we haven't changed. So again, I said it last week. What did I say on Monday or? The week before I said it again, I say it again. We're going, we're going hard. You know what I mean? We're, there's no laying off the gas. We're banged up. We're beat up. I don't give a crap. We're going hard. We're going to be, you know, we're going to be who we are and do the best we can. success breeds more attention. SEC Nation last week, game day this week. How have you seen your guys handle the additional drains on their time? Even with the that, that is different. Yeah, that is different. And even for myself, you know, there's, there's more uh, – things you have to do, but that comes with the territory. And again, I talked to him about just managing that and you know, make sure Susan and Tony don't put too much on my guys and, you know, with, with them individually, you know, not trying to do too much with, with, uh, you know, some of them. 
you know, last week I noticed it because I got done with one of my meetings and then I got up to my office and I got that good view and I saw Will out there on the field and I was like, that's enough. Get him off the field. You know what I mean? So it's enough of that stuff, whatever they were demonstrating out there. Oh, well, you saw it. You saw it Saturday. He's he's you know he's a guy that we like in this offense because he could catch and make plays out of the backfield and do a lot of good things. So he's getting back, and it's nice to have him. Nice to have that option. Pass. Yeah, he he does a nice job with that. And it's nice because we could get Michael going a little bit, Drennan as well, and and so there's there was. There were some options off some of the things that we did Saturday that we could build on. Kavass, on, on that kind of same subject, Kavass, yeah, it seems to really be coming on. What's been the key to that, and how much does that help when you've got two really good backs? It helps a lot. Um, you, you know, Last week we talked about it in here as well that I felt like Cavassier was – starting to take it to another level. And it, and again, it comes with his approach through the week. As, you know, coaches get more and more confident in players when, they, when, they're, when they're consistent and they're consistently doing good things, you know. And sometimes young players don't understand that. What do I have to do? How do I do? You know, well, you have to do things right, you know, all, all the time. And uh, it's a pretty big deal for us when they don't. You know, that doesn't mean anybody's perfect. You guys are going to make mistakes. But some guys have earned your trust through the course of thousands of reps. Is, is Hill all coach? He's helping? What changed? Yeah. Is what? He's healthy. He just, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's healthy. He's healthy. He's been banged up from time to Yeah, yeah, he has been. Well, if this game is the title game, you talked about your introductory press conference many years ago. Things were pretty bleak at that point. Mm -hmm. Has this kind of played out the way you had it envisioned? That's for you. I don't mean to be disrespectful in the answer. I mean that's a. I don't think about it like that. I, I don't. Mark, back when you were playing, just a few years. I mean, I'm happy with being in this position. You know, I'm happy with being six and zero. It's a lot better than being five and one. You know what I mean? So, but again, it's it's the this week. You know, it's the way I look at it. You know, this week. Back when you were playing just a few years ago, if a player had become known nationally for eating whole bananas and drinking coffee with mayonnaise, what, what do you think <laughs> the reaction would have been? I mean, how different has it been? Yeah, things are a lot different right now than nine years ago. It is, it is what it is, you know, and, you know, all the social media is different. The phones are different. The info is different. Um, you know, name, image, and likeness is different, you know, but, hey, I'm all, I've always been good with be who you are. You know, that that's what makes, you know, coming together as a team and an organization fun. There's a lot of different characters in there. And, you know, I love each and every one of them in a different way. But we're all different. The Supes family is undefeated right now. Oklahoma undefeated, Iowa undefeated, you guys undefeated. What's that family interaction like right now? Well, that's good, but we're we're not totally. I mean, don't my, my brother Mike is down there at FAU, and uh, so um, you know Mike is the defense coordinator there, and they've had some ups and downs this year. So, and my brother Ron is is still coaching, trying to help my high school out, and they're having a rough year. So it, it, you know, we just uh, <laughs> my uncle Bob will come in here once in a while, and still be Uncle Bob, <laughs> and uh, so uh, we we got a lot of us still active, and but. Uh, Good day Saturday, obviously, with the Sooners coming back and Drake having a, a, a big game and doing a lot of things. And Bob, I'm sure, uh, we talked through text, had a great time and being back in Iowa City where we all play, where the three of us played, and then uh, us with the win. So my mother was here this past weekend, so it was great Still to see her. Yeah, we talk still quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Depends now. He's doing that media and who knows where he's going to be. And he's always. He's, Flying around doing, doing that stuff. How do you build on Will's momentum? From, do you coach him up anymore? Yeah. Or anything like that? Just complete, c c continue to do what he's done to to improve. You know, in the talking points from last week. Obviously, Liam working with him. Just continue to build on that. Like I always say, right? Cultivate the good. You know, right? So anything that he's done well, uh, you know, continue to do that and. Not not get too far ahead of himself. You feel like this is 
Oh, that. You guys are trying to put a lot of words in my mouth this week. <laughs> you know, you guys phrase the questions. You, you, that's your opinion, and you could write and talk about it how you want. I can't control that. You know, he did a really good job. And uh, but you've heard me talk about it since day one. How much confidence I've had in him, right? Every day, but I've never wavered from that. To see Mo make so many plays on his feet. Uh, hey, like to not only his arm talent, but to make so many plays with his feet getting those first downs. How much does that mean for the offense? Well, it just it means a lot because sometimes you, you know you have to go play the game, and sometimes you have to ad lib a little. Sometimes you know it's hard to to coach all the time when you need to stay very patient in the pocket and when you need to move and buy time in the pocket, um, when you need to pull it down and run, I think he's making really good decisions, not perfect, but he's playing the game and he's a, and he's a good, uh, as some Lonnie mentioned or somebody, he's just, he's a good football player. He's doing good. He's just playing ball and doing a good job and getting better with every opportunity. Okay, but let me, I'm sorry. Go ahead, John. Uh, you, know, you, you say you're excited that this, because this team continues to get better. Where do you feel like it's made the most improvement since the beginning of the year? Uh, that's a that's a great question. Um, obviously, you know turnover. You know, you know the turnovers is 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 probably the biggest area of improvement. Ball security. Um, you know, I'd like to continue. Um, to create turnovers, but us, we have control over, you know, the ball security, in particular fumbles. And so I think if you, any one specific area, that would be, you know, the past several games. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you.